Welcome to the fourth and final episode of the series. Today the server had wiped and we're going to start brand new, getting a ton of loot and progressing through the map. And we're going to do a really really good raid at the very end. Hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 300 likes. Subscribe if you're new. We're trying to reach 20k subs soon. Also, last video I announced a crafted mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching this, make sure that you join my Discord. It will be in the description below and contact me there. Also, we're going to do another crafted mythical giveaway and this time it's going to be a blossoming woodland Schofield. To enter, make sure that you've liked the video, you've subscribed and comment down below and without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video right so we're back on the server now last time i did team with a pretty big group this time i'm not sure if i will actually join them i'm gonna leave my group anyway but from here i'm gonna get all the tools i'm gonna get all of the quests this time i'm going to build the base very very early last time it took me like till the last day to actually build my base now obviously we're going to try to progress as much as possible obviously try to get into pvp and finally we're probably going to try to raid now the server did wipe so we have absolutely nothing even in vault everything is completely gone so it's literally a, a fresh start the server i think wiped like two days ago something like that so there are probably going to be bases already and geared people i literally don't have anything yet all right so i pretty much got all of the tools from the safe zone if you guys didn't know in the safe zone you can get all of the tools like that you actually need in order to start doing stuff obviously you can find them around the map but at least they're on the safe zone all right well they're gonna pick me up with a helicopter apparently so i'm just going to wait for them here and then i'm probably gonna take tell them to take me to samara complex so that we could start with the bunkers all right, well, they did make it, but they kind of screwed with the helicopter and it's stuck. Thankfully, it's in the safe zone, so people can just come and steal it. Oh, he gave me a gun. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. All right yeah, this, this helicopter is actually completely stuck. I really don't know. Uh, maybe he can actually take it off. I don't know how it didn't blow up over there, actually. So we did manage to take off. Uh, they're going to take me to Tamara Complex over there. I'm going to try to get as much items as possible. Hopefully, I'll get myself a backpack, actually, and maybe some ammo or a better gun, a Zolash. Now, there's actually an update where they added, like, two new Zolashes. One of them has, like, a bayonet, which is pretty cool, in my opinion, but apparently they are very, very weak. All right, well, I am going to jump off. There we go. Yeah, I didn't take that much damage. All right, I'm going to use this as a melee afterwards i'm probably just gonna go to the base as soon as i get myself some loot and some clothes now the server does have a bit of high loot a lot of you guys were telling me to play on vanilla but uh, i think i'm gonna do that very very soon it might even be solo and we got ourselves an entrenching tool as well oh, zolash there we go yeah i think this is one of the new zolashes actually i can't put any of the attachments on this one though it's okay now i'm gonna pick up all of the dog tags because these dog tags are very very important because with them i can actually get myself a toolbox with like 20 of them and i already have like 14 so that's pretty good i'm gonna pick up everything that it's important obviously all of these meds as well oh yeah i'm still gonna pick up every single doc tag that i see because even if i get a ton of them i can get like an easy nemesis which is a pretty good pvp weapon right, as always we're gonna get ourselves the first key now we're gonna go straight down there and we're just gonna pick up the next key i'm not gonna loot around this is pretty much what i always do in every single video when i'm playing on an aired server now from here you can't really get anything that special to be honest that's why i don't really loot it i gotta be careful that there aren't actually people here because i'm, I'm just running around not thinking about that all right there we go we got ourselves the next key we could literally go all the way straight back up again maybe later on once i get night vision i could come loot here but for now it's not really worth it because I could easily get stuck. All right, and then we return all the way back to the top. Now for the next room, we just literally gotta get to the very, very top. Got ourselves a shirt as well. Let's go. And from this room, I'm pretty sure that we can get ourselves like some really good loot. I think we can get ammo belts as well. Which is easy gunpowder. All right. And this is the room right over here. And we got ourselves a backpack. So that's really good. Now right, there's some random junk, heavy duty cable, uh, some attachments. And we got ourselves a key. And we also got ourselves like... A CG, CD drive or whatever that is. Right, we're gonna salvage literally everything. Uh, we're gonna get lenses as well, so that's pretty good. Blasting cap. Right, and we are done over here. Now, since we got a, pretty much everything that we need in order to start progressing, I think I might go and build a base very, very soon, actually. Now, I'm probably gonna build it behind Kahmaran because that's where we did it last time. And apparently, it's pretty well hidden, so that that's good. Obviously, for now, it's going to be made out of wood because I, I only have a saw. I can go to the... I have an entrenching tool, but I don't really want to spend a lot of time getting stone. All right, so over here, there's actually a lot of tree so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my saw and i'm going to cut as much as possible since the server does have high load even like when you drop something it's like double no, it's actually triple on the server okay well that's kind of op to be honest uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make them into stacks of logs so at the same time we wouldn't use as much space and that's what i'm going to do next until i pretty much fill up my whole inventory i've already got like 30 wood so i'm done with chopping a lot of wood now i'm just gonna run i'm just gonna go and build the base very very soon i'm probably going to do a two by two for now and then i might just do a triangular at the side 
side. Actually, for now, I won't actually do the triangular. We'll do that later on. Because I think I might need to get myself more wood as well anyway. All, right, all the pillars are done as well. We'll do one at the middle. And right, now we're going to place all of the walls. And right, we got ourselves a doorway as well. Let's go. Now, finally, we have ourselves. Put the triangular right over there. Pillar right over there as well. Place another doorway right over here. So we could place it at the side. That's something that I really like about Ered, actually. And right, we'll place the final wall over here. Roof right over there. And now we're just gonna make ourselves four roofs. The rest of the logs will pretty much go into storage. We'll place a bed right over there. Now, in order to make a door, I'm gonna need metal parts, which I don't think I actually have for now. Which, uh, which is kind of bad, to be honest. Because anybody could just walk in right now. Alright, so all of the remaining logs, I'm probably just gonna make them into storage. Now, we can probably make a big one, actually. Yeah, I think we need four. Yeah, we got ourselves an industrial wooden box. Let's go. These actually hold a lot of items in them. All right, well, I'm gonna place everything that is kind of important in here, even though it's not really, I don't really have anything that good. All right, and I'm gonna need to get myself metal parts, actually, in order to progress. Maybe I have something that I could salvage in order to make them into metal parts, but I don't think I do. All right, so what I'm doing next is I'm currently in Kahmaran Airfield, and I'm going to get as much dog tags as possible. There's actually a lot of ammo belts as well, so... Oh, we got metal parts, actually. We could pretty much do the door already. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go get the toolbox from the saves Zone once I get enough dog tags, which is literally just 20, and I'm pretty sure I already have enough. So all of that ammo belt as well will be salvaged into gunpowder, so that is pretty good already. I'm gonna get myself as much items that are metal as possible also, so that we can start building metal parts around the base. There's an artillery shell here. We also got ourselves a blowtorch. Yeah, these artillery shells actually give us gunpowder as well. I think that's their only use, to be honest. It's also a full moon, but I don't really see any differences when it comes to full moon on Aerith, to be honest. There's way too many ammo belts everywhere, actually. Uh, so this server has base HUD, by the way, when it comes to raiding. So that I guess it's kind of balanced that it's high load. Alright, so we're in the safe zone. First, I'm going to finish this quest, actually. There's just two metal parts. Uh, next, we're gonna need blow to your gun parts, which shouldn't be that hard. Alright, so I'm gonna get the toolbox, which is, I think, not this guy. This guy gives gold and stuff. Uh, you could sell a lot of items, actually, in here, which is pretty good. Alright, yeah, dog tech trades. There we go. We get ourselves a toolbox or a stack of metal plates. Well, I got one of both because I had 40, so that's pretty good. Alright, yeah, we got ourselves a toolbox, so that is pretty good. Now we can go back to base. Alright, there we go. All the ammo belts are now into gunpowder. And now we could stack them. We got one full one. Even the Alcherly shell and the other ammo belt. Get ourselves some more gunpowder. There we have three full gunpowder already. Which they will be later on eventually used. When it comes to like crafting AMR ammo and all of that. For AMR ammo, we need ten full gunpowder. So it's really not that much. And we already got three. So for that day, I did leave the server. I did finish my base and then I continued looting around, farming gunpowder and farming as much guns as possible. And then a couple of days later, my friends did message me and tell me that they are going to do a base raid. Obviously, I decided to join. The server was pretty much dying as well, so I wasn't really playing on the server. But obviously, since this was a really good raid, I decided to join. And this is what happened. I'm back on the server and they did invite me as well. Uh, so th they've actually been building a lot of bases around as well. Like they've built a whole compound. I was thinking that I was gonna get raided to be honest, but uh, I didn't. These guys have been grinding a lot. Now I didn't really play on the server. The server was kind of dying out to be honest and there wasn't really that much people on it. But apparently they found a really big raid. And obviously I had to join, you know? All right, so we're in our helicopter. It's it's pretty much full. I have no idea where we're gonna go to raid actually. Uh, looks like... Oh damn, okay. It's starting to render in and it's actually huge. It's only made out of wood actually. They have a helicopter as well. Right, we should start raiding from the top to be honest. Yeah, there might be adamantium inside though. Like, like loot rooms and all of that might be made out of adamantium. Oh, the, <laughs> the helicopter almost crashed actually. Alright, so the, it looks like there's a tower over here. It's not actually made out of leather. Alright, it looks like adamantium already. I kind of expected it to be honest. Now these guys actually have a lot of raiding gear. They've been farming for quite a ton. Alright, well, it looks like they've got the, the big C4. I have never actually seen that, to be honest. I have no idea if this is safe, to be honest. Alright, wait, wait, don't blow it up yet. I think... Oh, damn, okay. Okay, this actually did a ton of damage. I didn't expect it to do this much. It didn't, it didn't break any adamantium, to be honest. It just broke pretty much everything else. Okay, right, they're gonna spam it with AMR ammo now. Alright, I can be careful that I don't fall. Oh, never mind, I did. Alright, looks like that they broke it as well. Alright, yeah, they did make it through. Looks like there's a... Uh... Oh, there's some... I think those are crates. Alright, thankfully the doorway is actually made out of metal, which is kind of stupid that they did that, to be honest. There's base hut on the server as well, I completely forgot about that. It should be so low though, yeah, yeah, finally. Alright, it looks like they're gonna use charges for the next room. It was literally just an airlock. Alright, yeah, well, this broke. It looks like another airlock. Yeah, I think at the side is going to be made out of loot. Like, loot rooms. Yeah, there's a big... There's a big box right over there, actually. Oh, I think they placed more C4. Yeah, they did. Looks like... Another airlock. Okay. <laughs> We're just breaking into airlocks. Yeah, there's loot over there, actually. I see loot. I think there some stuff already broke, to be honest. Oh, yeah, well... Uh, it didn't break. Okay, it should break, though. It's a, an adamantium door that should take quite a ton. 
Oh yeah, bro. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of loot. Okay, yeah, there's actually MK pay ammo. Uh, a saw. There's so many saws actually. There's like four of them. Oh, more loot over here. A P90. A bunch of Magnum ammo. More ammo. I think that's insane actually. What's over here? Yeah, a bunch of doors. A hatchet. Some dressings. A lot of medicine. A bunch of pistols. Yeah, there's actually not that much good loot to be honest. I guess the saw is really useful because I didn't have one. And they broke this one. Looks like a bunch of fuel tanks. Yeah. yeah looks like a bunch of fuel tanks. Looks like some ammo. Oh, he's gonna break. He's gonna use C4 for that. I don't really know if it's a good idea to be honest. Oh, it didn't break yet. Okay, well, this this wall should be so low. We've put so much raiding gear into it. All right, they put another C4. It didn't break yet. This wall, uh, I don't know what, I don't know how strong it is, actually. All right, yeah, he's gonna place charges at the floor. Hopefully, the wall and the floor will break because this base actually has a, a ton of floors. And it looks like none of them actually broke. So, that, that's pretty good. All right, well, this finally broke. Looks like uh, some hyper velocity ammo generator, a bunch of gauze cans. All right, well, there's some stuff in here, I guess, that is kind of useful, but not really that insane. Oh, finally, it broke. Okay. It looks like more airlocks. Yeah, these guys honeycombed the base pretty well, actually. It's like they're gonna place C4 on the adamantium door. If he blows it up now, they all die. Alright, they place the lead there. He's gonna place more C4 on that side as well. I don't know how much C4 that they placed, but it should be enough to at least break one of the walls. Alright, well, looks like. Uh, never mind, none of them actually broke. I think something did break. Yeah, just another airlock. Man, these guys actually honeycombed the base so much. I think there's more loot back here. Yeah, there's more loot back there. Right, they're gonna use AMR ammo, I guess, for this wall. It should be pretty damaged from the other C4. Oh, finally broke. Oh, okay, yeah, there's actually a lot of loot. Okay, AMR, a bunch of guns, honeybee, iridium bars, documents, bags for days. Those are actually pretty good. Those are literally like eight adamantium each. Well, I'm full of loot, to be honest. At least back. Right, there's actually a lot of loot in this one. And there's still more to raid. White fuses. There's a better helmet, apparently. Yeah, there it is. Found it. All right, thank you. All right, do these actually have anything? Oh, there's a gun. Okay. I'm gonna take that, actually. It looks like a pretty good gun. There's another P90 over here. Uh, plastic rolls. We don't really need those, though. A bunch of ammo. But AMR has no ammo. I would have taken it, to be honest. Right, I think I might go to my base and actually depot because I'm full of loot. I'm gonna drop what I don't need, to be honest. I'm gonna take the AMR just for it because I don't actually have one in base. All right, they're gonna place a C4. Yeah, they broke a lot of this. Oh, there's a billion grenades. Oh, MGL, I didn't take that, but they got a grenade launcher. That's actually incredible. These grenades are pretty good when it comes to raiding, actually. Oh, well, they're gonna throw grenades. This can only go horribly wrong. Oh, wait, that broke, actually. Looks like... Oh, a bunch of dog tags, more adamantium. Lump of charcoal. Yeah, there's this adamantium locker over here. Oh, we still gotta break. All right, they're gonna blow up. Yes, sir, looks like... Oh, another loot room. Okay, reloading tools, toolbox, a bunch of food, a bunch of guns. All right, that's pretty good, actually. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of ingots as well. Iridium and adamantium. There's still a lot of Harper Velocity. There's... All right, well, they're gonna put another charge in there. And there's a billion HQ fabric in here. I didn't see these. Okay, yeah, they broke this. Okay, looks like a billion guns. Oh, okay, there's so many guns, actually. Another AMR, honeybees, MK Pays, bunch of guns I actually never saw before. There's a Nemesis as well, Drakonov, two boxes for a day. Dude, all right, well, uh, I at the start, I was thinking that this raid wasn't really profit, but never mind. Uh, it's actually a really, really good raid, and this is just what I'm picking up. Yeah, there's just a billion guns everywhere. We could salvage so much of these and get so much good stuff from them. Alright, all this broke as well. And looks like uh, more boxes. Alright, they're gonna place charges for that. I'm gonna go hide in this room just in case. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think they broke. Oh no, they didn't. I think they threw a grenade actually. Okay, well, they broke. Okay, they broke everything. Just, dude, a bunch of clothes, copper coils, rucksack. I got a better backpack. Let's go. Dude, so much gunpowder. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's actually so much gunpowder. I can make so much AMR ammo with this, actually. There's encrypted transmitters, blasting caps for days. That gun is. I think that gun can raid. The guys that own these bays were actually stacked. There's digital cameras as well. Those are pretty useful. Alright everybody, this is going to be it for this video, and after that I did leave the server, the server was pretty much dying out, and then I left. Now we're going to start a brand new series from next episode, this time it's going to be full vanilla, and it's going to be solo. If you guys do want to watch that video coming out very soon, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!